Now the village and pillage update is finished and it's almost here finally for Java, Bedrock, and Console Edition. And although we're not going to receive any more content or any more major features for the 1.14 update, it makes you wonder what type of villagers might we see in future updates. Today we're going to be discussing my top 5 picks for villagers I would like to see come to Minecraft in 1.15, 1.16 in future updates. And be sure to share your ideas down below. What type of villagers would you guys introduce into Minecraft? What type of trades and unique abilities would these villagers have as well? And I just want to point out that they're not done updating villagers and villages just because 1.14 is finished. It's almost very similar to how they deal with other entities in Minecraft and mobs as well as the textures in Minecraft. They're constantly evolving and changing over time. And it's the same way with villagers. So guys, leave a like on today's video. It'd be a huge help. Seriously, just thank you so much for all the support. Don't forget to hashtag Stealth Army because you already know we out here liking and favoriting some of the best comments in today's video. Now, let's go ahead and kick it off with villager number five. Now, this is just sort of a random order, but yes, this villager is ranked number five on my list and it's a healer slash doctor villager. And this villager is going to be trading gold apples, enchanted apples, also known as notch apples in the past, fire resistant potions, healing potions, and other unique potions, maybe some special ones that can only be found through this villager. That's main goal is just to heal and to give items that heal as well. So I would love to see some sort of healer villager introduced in a future update for Minecraft. But let's go ahead and move on to the next villager idea. And that is a magician villager. And I feel like this would probably work best if they introduced a magic update. But they could still have a magician villager because we already have witches as well. So the magician villager would trade new and rare enchantments that can only be found through trading with this villager. And maybe the magician will operate similar to how the wandering villager, the wandering trader operates in Minecraft where they're constantly moving. They're never really in the same spot, and when they are in a village or near you, they're only there for a couple of days. I think that could work out really well for the Magician Villager because they're going to have some really awesome loot, some really special items, and maybe if we do get that magic update, they'll also trade wands and staff with magic powers. I think that'd be awesome. But let's go ahead and move on to the next Villager idea, and this is going to be a Golem Villager. Now, this villager is probably going to be rough looking, maybe have a ton of robes on, and this villager is going to trade unique blocks. Now, on the outside, these blocks will look similar, like they're not special, or they are average blocks like dirt, cobblestone, and maybe even bedrock as well as obsidian, but they have special properties that allow you to craft new golem. That's right new golem that can defend your village now you can only get these blocks through trading with the golem villager but as i mentioned earlier these blocks are going to look exactly the same compared to all the other blocks in minecraft but they have special properties that allow you to construct new golem more powerful golem you know smaller quicker golem that can attack faster than your average iron golem or just golem that are just more durable, more powerful, but maybe don't last as long or that can't heal themselves or whatever. So there's a lot of crazy things that they can do with the golem villager. Leave your thoughts and ideas down below in regards to this villager. Let's go ahead and move on to the next villager coming in at number two, the angelic villager. Now, this is another villager that would probably be introduced in like the sky update if we ever were to receive a sky update we would have angelic villagers and they'd be extremely rare and it'd be hard to find them because they'd be constantly moving, flying from one island to the next island. And sometimes they'd land on like a village and they would be able to trade with you for a couple of hours or a few days and they would trade only one item except in different variations and that'd be the elytra wings some of you guys call it elytra it doesn't really matter to me but yes the elytra wings and these wings would be in gold silver black gray red blue green yellow different colors and then they would have one specific elytra wing that would have a new enchantment that you can only get through trading with this angelic villager 
Now, there's a lot of crazy things that they can do with the Elytra Wings. Share your ideas down below, but let's move on to the final villager idea in today's video. I could literally go on forever because there's a lot of crazy villager ideas, but I figured why not just make a top five out of this, and that would be the Nether Villager coming in at number one. And the Nether Villager would be wandering as well, but only in specific biomes as well as during nighttime. This nether villager does not like the sun, he doesn't like daylight, so you can only find the nether villager at nighttime in specific biomes, and the nether villager doesn't like to be around other villagers, so it's gonna be very rare, extremely difficult to find this nether villager, but when you find this nether villager, the villager will trade nether warts, magma cream, fire resistant armor, fire aspect, other things that you can find in the nether, but one of the most important things this villager will trade are nether stars. You can get nether stars from this villager. It's not going to be cheap. It's probably going to cost maybe 50, maybe 100 emeralds, but you can get nether stars from the nether villager. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Share your ideas, like I said, down below. And the idea that gets the most likes and the most feedback, I will pin it on today's video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, I really appreciate it. Notification squad, y'all are the best. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Peace. Get ready for the next battle.